Okie dokie artichokey, welcome back to our video um, playlist, our video playlist, welcome back to it. So I'm going to be here and I'm going to show you a few things that you need to do in order to keep your butt safe when you are using this viewer. Back in the day we used to have spoofing but in this one it really doesn't work so well. Um, mostly because like I said this viewer is still in development and I'm releasing it before it was finished just so that we can hurry up and get a good feel for it. More or less, I got tired of people using the old version and saying that stuff didn't work. And I'm like, well, yeah, the system updated. Use a new one. And they don't know how to do it. So we're going to do a couple of things first. And the very first thing we need you to do is to disable your media. So we are going to go up into file preferences. And then um, sound and media, media, and make sure that media autoplay is disabled. And um, enable media filter, which is great. Um, this is because a lot of security systems and some body people will like to check your viewer through the media settings. So this is why whenever you use a um, special viewer like this, you're jamming to a music or something, a stream or whatever, and you suddenly get the boot, like the security system kicks you out. That's because um, their security systems will scan your viewers through media, which is against the rules of Second Life, but, you know, they'll do it anyway. So to prevent this from happening, one of the things you can do before you go anywhere is to go to a nice safe place and turn off your media. It doesn't matter that you have to turn off, you have to disable it completely. And whenever media comes up and says, hey, would you like us to play music for you? You say no, because sometimes the security things will disguise themselves as a radio and you say yes and then it scans you and then it gives you the boot. So you want to make sure that you don't do that. So once that's clicked and everything is done, you're just going to hit OK and uh, go about your biz. Now, I'm not sure if they updated their systems or not um, over the years. It's been a, quite a while since I left my little hermit shell, but I do know that that's what they used to do in the past. So you want to make sure that that is disabled so you can protect yourself. Okay. That's pretty much it, really, with security. I mean, y'all guys know how to use a VPN, right? You all have those. I want to be like, just load up your Nord VPN, but I haven't contacted them for one of those sponsorship things yet, so I'll be promoting them and not even getting a free payment or, or like, a payment or a discount code. So you got to use your own VPN and figure out how to sign in. Or maybe I should just go contact them first and then do one of those videos. I don't know. Anyway, that's it for this video. Short and sweet, right? Not a lot of security these days. So see you in the next video where we actually get down to the meat and potatoes, which is extraction. So we're going to start with the basics and we're going to work our way up. Trust me, it's going to be a little more complicated than it used to be.